this had been kind of inspired by certain kind of little paradoxes that uh, people like Bertrand Russell had come up with. People might have come across this idea of the set of all sets that don't contain themselves as members. And then you, you the challenge is, well, is that set in this set or not? Uh, I, actually, a, a really nice kind of sort of version of this is another sort of mathematical kind of verbal paradox is um, all those numbers that can be defined in less than 20 words. So, for example, 1729, which is the taxi cab number that Raman Eugen and Hardy talked about, you can define that in less than 20 words. It's the smallest number, which is the sum of two cubes in two different ways. So that's less than 20 words. So then you define the following number, the, the smallest number which cannot be defined in less than 20 words. Now, I think if you count that up, I've just defined that number in less than 20 words. And you go, well, uh, that's a bit worrying because surely that is a sort of kind of number we might define, the smallest number which has a certain property. So there was a real feeling that these paradoxes, these set theoretic paradoxes, were beginning to be a real challenge to mathematics at the turn of the 20th century. And David Hilbert, um, one of his uh, sort of big problems that he challenged mathematics with in the 20th, 20th century, these 23 big un unsolved problems, the second one was to prove that mathematics was in fact consistent. And included in that was that every true statement should be provable. But what a shock he got actually, 30 years later, along comes this Austrian logician, Kurt Gödel, who blows this idea that we can prove maths is consistent out of the water and, and shows there are true statements which can't be proved within any mathematical system. How does mathematics work? We set down things we call axioms, which are the kind of things we believe are the way numbers geometry work. So for example, if I take six and I add seven to that, I don't think it's going to be different from taking seven and adding six to that. That seems so blindingly obvious. And that's one of the axioms of the way numbers work. You know, maybe somewhere out there that goes wrong, but I don't really care. I'm interested in a mathematics where that is true of all numbers and I have rules which allow